the sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful, the pitch looks terrific, the players are ready to get started and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Well, this is a ground with an old-school feel to it. Built between 1969 and 74, the Estadio Alejandro Villanueva in the neighbourhood of La Victoria, the Peruvian capital, Lima. Lens appear to be going with a 3-5-2 formation, Jim. Well, I can tell you, Peter, that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing-back, you get more freedom to go forward. As an orthodox full-back, you had to be more selective in the runs you made. The back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two. And that's why I liked it, because I didn't have to get back that much. We have already started here. A really good feat from him. Promising cross. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. No, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's for... He'll hit it! Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Bufana. have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. And the defence can get it clear. And that's put paid to a promising move. Gets away from his opponent. There's the ball in, and he's cut it out. Roddy Lopez. That's a promising ball. He's Chance! Goal! Lawns! And it's Lawns who take the lead! What a simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Just listen to the reaction, I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Out to the right, Ronnie Lopez gets the chance to cross. That's the whistle for half-time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Laws head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. 
He's through. He's made sure that that won't get through. So still just a goal between them. Played into space out wide. Keeps everyone guessing. Your impression so far, Jim? Oh, got a shot away. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Haidara. Hoists it forward. Mufana. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Now, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Nice have a free kick. Roddy Lopez. Goes for the cross. Firmly met. Nice are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Rawls, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, good luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say. And a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.